When stay-at-home orders were issued here, Colorado's largest mental health counseling service had no choice. Their 13,000 clients couldn't just start healing themselves. So Mental Health Center of Denver went virtual. Face-to-face -face counseling became a thing of the past. Denver 7's David Clue explains how COVID-19 converted an entire industry, likely forever. Nobody's ready. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. Nobody's ready for this. Griff McClure is one of dozens of volunteers for the Mental Health Center of Denver, whose work is still face to face. He's packing boxes of food and toiletries for delivery to hundreds of the nonprofit's clients now stuck at home. This could make them very symptomatic with what they're struggling with right now. We want to get that personal touch, want to reach out to them, show them we care about them, that we are trying to help them as best we can. For an industry that relies on that personal touch to treat those suffering any number of mental illnesses, a worldwide pandemic only adds to their feelings of helplessness. Add to that the reality that caseworkers can no longer see them in person, and crisis hits critical mass very quickly. Not here. We had a crash course in Microsoft Teams during that crisis uh, meeting, and we made the decision that we should switch from seeing people face to face to seeing people virtually. Dr. Carl Clark is the CEO of MHCD. That crisis meeting he mentioned took place on a Sunday night. The entire 400 caseworker staff then went virtual the very next morning. Patient reaction? Many of them were thankful and frankly liked it better because they didn't have to travel to the clinic uh, there weren't transportation issues. Uh, it was more convenient and they could get their needs met um, virtually. The primary feedback we've gotten is that people are really glad they can still see us right? and that we can still receive services. And that means all services because treatment can also mean pharmaceuticals. That program is fully operational as well with pharmacists filling prescriptions and again, caseworkers making house to house deliveries. I think when we come out of this, there's going to be some people who say, this is how I want to keep doing care. It's more convenient for me, right? The only hoop left to jump through, private insurance, Medicare and Medicaid, all of whom do not cover virtual counseling. You could only deliver telehealth if the person receiving the services was in a rural location or if they were in a um, sort of certified facility. Those requirements changed as fast as COVID-19 spread and... It will be very difficult to get that horse back in the barn. <laughs> a pandemic with a permanent impact on a critical need, one that just might have brought mental health counseling into the 21st century. Rethinking mental health treatment, not just here in Denver, but nationwide. I'm David Clue, Denver 7. And treating patients virtually also allows the caseworkers to treat more clients. And if our stay-at-home order has you feeling lonely or depressed, you can check out the resources on that agency's website, mhcd.org. They have dozens of ways to help you get through this time.